Hey everybody, it's Emran. It is uh, May 29th, the night of the 29th. And as you can say, see, I'm here in a different location and I'm actually at Tamara's house. And uh, don't tell her that I did this, but... Um, <laughs> she fell asleep on the couch. Don't tell her I filmed this. I wanted to give you guys a new Team Emran update. It's been over a month since I did my last uh, update. So I thought I would just check in and, and say hi to everybody and let you know what was going on. Uh, as you know, I've been dealing with the insurance situation with my scans. So I wanted to just kind of fill you in with what these scans are and what they mean and what it means for the grand scheme of the whole cancer thing. So let's start with the two scans that I got this week. The first one was yesterday. It was called a PET scan. And a PET scan is where they take uh, radioactive glucose sugars and they inject it into my body and they put me in this machine that is about, oh, I don't know, slightly bigger than me. And uh, they roll me in there and they put me in there for about 20 to 25 minutes while they scan my body. And what happens is the sugars are, uh, they glow. It has a radioactive glow that they can see uh, where the cancer cells are still within my body. Now, here's the weird part about it. Cancer apparently um, sticks to sugar or loves sugar, so the, the glucose can be found in my body in the different locations where cancer still exists in my body. Um, so that's yesterday's scan, the PET scan. And the really crazy thing about it was that uh, I found out that I was radioactive for about six or seven hours after the session which was kind of weird to be radioactive but whatever so I did that and then today I did the CT scan and they did one on my neck they did one on my chest they did one on my abdomen and they did one on my pelvis and the reason why they had four different scans was because um, obviously with stage 3 cancer it had spread all the way down to near my liver meaning that they had to check all these different locations to see if they did find any kind of uh, cancer there. So the way that this one works, CTs are, I, I take something called barium sulfate and I drank it today. It's like chalk. It's disgusting. And I had to drink that. And then what en they end up doing is they add an iodine dye inside my body that then is a contrast to show where they believe the other parts of cancer might be throughout my body. So really, what it is is not to whether or not uh, the cancer is gone, because it's not something that uh, is going to be going away right now. It's not something that uh, I can say is gone, but not yet. Um, this is just to find out if the tumors, the 31 different tumors that they found, are now in some sort of a shrinking state to where that I can begin radiation. So there's one of... There's actually three things that can happen moving forward. Number one, there's no tumors visible anymore, and I can begin radiation to kill the existing microscopic pieces of cancer in my body. Number two thing that can happen is that the tumors are still there, and I have to continue on with another two rounds of chemo, which is basically another two months of chemo. Or the third thing that can happen is that they find out that it's still spreading and that they have to go with a more aggressive chemotherapy because the first one is not working. Now, I'm hoping that the number three one is not happening. I'm pretty confident that it's not. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, hey, it's not these things where you scan and the cancer is gone. That's not how it works. So uh, just wanted to keep you updated, let you know what was going on. And uh, I appreciate all the love from everybody everywhere that's been checking in with me and, and saying all that stuff. And uh, to answer a few personal questions, yes, I did put in my 30-day notice. No, I'm not moving in with Tamara yet. However, um, Tam, Tamara, Tam, Tamara, I think I can get away with doing whatever the hell I want. She sleeps pretty soundly. Have a great night, guys, and I'll talk to you and update you next week once I get the results in. We'll talk soon. Bye.